Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 27th of April, 2023. So I'm in one of my favorite filming locations when I'm out and about in the vehicle here. It's uh, a little car park, which I pass a lot of the time and it's uh, quiet, it's just out of the way. So it's a great place to kind of film from. So. I often wonder though if they've kind of noticed me because I've been coming here for nearly three years now, uh, often twice a week, and uh, I wonder if people sort of look at me and think, what's that bloke doing? He comes here uh, you know, often two or three times a week. He just sits there for about 10 minutes. He doesn't get out of his vehicle and then he drives off again. You know, I wonder what on earth he's up to, and he's been doing it for so long. Um, well, never mind me, guys. Uh, I'm just a modern heretic uh, filming some highly subversive videos. Nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. So I hope that's all right. So I'm going to be rather heretical today and uh, commit one of the uh, sort of most dire modern heresies and be extremely subversive but what i'm going to do before doing that is i'm just going to have a little bit of a well i'm going to ask you to participate in a fun little exercise it's coming up here in the uk at least for a long bank holiday weekend so I'm going to have saturday sunday and monday off and many people may well end up going down to the seaside perhaps or a nice walk in the countryside but if you're going to the seaside anytime soon, while you're there, just ambling along the seafront or whatever you're doing, just have a little look around you and see if you can see any kind of building development work going on, uh, you know, building sites, whatever it might be, both small and large, residential, commercial, uh, retail, new retail premises being built perhaps, and if it's a relatively flat town, like somewhere like Littlehampton, for instance, not somewhere like Brighton, which is very hilly, but a small town, maybe uh, a flat town, maybe you can have a little look around more inland as well towards the town centre. And yeah, just look out for these building developments and see how many you can find. And then I want you to think that Pretty much every one of those building developments will be financed by banks and maybe other wealthy investors. Now, what do we know about bankers and wealthy investors? Uh, well, um, I'm sure you might be having some rather choice thoughts coming into your head about that. But let's just stick to the fact that they're very hard headed business people who don't take decisions lightly. Uh, they have all sorts of systems uh, and due diligence processes in place to make pretty sure, as sure as they can ever be, or anyone can ever be in this uh, uncertain world, that they're not going to lose their investments, that they're going to get the returns they're expecting and hopefully a bit more. And they've got some very, very clever, some very, very switched on people who are there looking at every single investment opportunity, every single loan that they process, uh, making sure that they're not gonna lose any money. If you've ever applied for a mortgage, you know this, don't you? Because uh, you know you have to jump through all kinds of hoops to get a mortgage just, just for one, house that you're buying, let alone anyone who's planning on building an entire housing development over sort of quite a few acres or a big industrial complex or whatever, new industrial estate. So given that these people are these very kind of level-headed, hard-headed business people who don't take investment decisions like uh, lightly, uh, and bear in mind, as you look at these uh, sort of developments at the seaside next time you're there, just ask yourself the question, 
if what the likes of good old Greta and Al Gore and all of these other sort of uh, people who are telling us that we've got a dire problem to do with the climate, that the ice caps are going to be melting in the next decade or two and water levels, sea levels are going to be rising by uh, many feet in the next uh, sort of decade or two as well. That's what they're telling us. Do you think that these businesses, um, or these bankers and investors rather, would be putting any of their money into any new development that was kind of under, let's say, 50 feet, maybe 100 feet above sea level? Uh, you think if uh, what the likes of Greta are saying is true, they wouldn't touch anything, would they? They wouldn't touch anything that is being built under maybe sort of 100 foot above sea level. Uh, and that would make sense, wouldn't it? And yet, as you'll see, when you go round the seaside, there are plenty of de developments going on, isn't there? Um, it's not even like banks have got some kind of caveat or they're starting to talk about having conditions that they're not going to uh, provide any future funding for places under a certain height above sea level, is it? We're not getting any of that. So what conclusions can you draw from that? Uh, well, there's two. I'm going to leave it to you to see which is more likely. First con uh, conclusion you can draw is that these hard-headed business people have all of a sudden totally lost the plot. They don't mind losing money left, right and centre. And they've just kind of gone a bit mad basically so that's one or the other conclusion that you can draw is that what Greta and Al Gore etc are saying is a load of rubbish <laughs> now <clears throat> this video has been inspired by a video I saw a few days ago um, it features a guy called Dan Pena who to be honest with you I don't really like him I think he's arrogant, um, full of himself, whatever you want to call it. Um, you'll probably see what I mean when you watch this video. But he is a very, very wealthy and highly experienced businessman. Um, he no doubt mixes with all kinds of other very wealthy people, rich investors, all the, the rest of it. So he kind of knows the mindset. And in this little clip, it's only about five minutes long, but he was sitting there and the audience were asking questions. And this lady pops up, who's obviously some kind of, uh, uh, some someone hysterical about the whole climate thing, um, just sort of bought into the propaganda, hook, line and sinker. And she kind of jumps up and rather angrily says, uh, you know, what are you doing, Dan, being the wealthy man you are, about this dire emergency we're facing? And then, then his reply is basically what I've just told you about uh, um, seaside developments <laughs> and wealthy investors. And therefore, he just totally shot her down in flames and she was, just had to just sit down and shut up after that. So it's quite hilarious, really. Luckily, it is on YouTube, so I will leave a link to it in the description box and the comment section below. And I'll let you go and watch that. And I'll be back very soon. Tim from Fairplay now. Thanks for watching.